Tequila. Hey, what's the matter with you? Tsukimi, come on out of there. Tsukimi. I'm sorry, Mom. Why do I feel so depressed all the time? I know it's crazy, but I just can't help it. What happened at the aquarium? It made me feel what it must be like to be a normal girl with a normal guy paying attention to her. Congratulations. Did you win his umbrella? Of course I did. No man could bear to see me go home without one in a rain like this. Your methods are classic, but executed so flawlessly. Oh, I forgot my umbrella. Would you mind letting me share? No one else is using that one anymore. Would you shut up? A guy like that is only going to respond to the classic. Now I've got to get out of these wet things ASAP. So drive. What? You're calling him tonight? When a man offers a courtesy, it's best to return the favor as soon as you can. We're home. Welcome back. Oh, goodness. It's Attack of the Rain Soap Zombie Recycling Trash. It will be for real if you don't tell me what the heck you think you're doing here. Calm down. I thought I'd come help out with the hot pot meal again. Can I interest anybody in salmon? Silence, style strip! We got bigger fish to fry. We're exhausted from tonight's redevelopment presentation. Presentation? Hope you didn't go dressed like that. I'm surprised they even let you in. Our fashion choices are a protected, inalienable right. They have nothing to do with the redevelopment. <laughs> if you say so. But nobody wants to hear the recycling get all indignant. Uh, I can't breathe. <laughs> so, how'd it go? Did you get to tell them not to tear down on Mamizu Khan? Mm. Well, we're all cold from the rain, so I think we should just go take a nice hot bath. You can see the streetcars from the window of the bathhouse on Block 2. I prefer Block 4. The clerk there is a smoldering hot I'll take that as a note. I see. That's why Sukimi is so sad. I'm home! Ah! Thank goodness you're here! Thank you so long. Yeah? Well, I sure never saw her. Tell us what happened! <laughs> Were you able to turn that fix it into a whimpering cosmetic? How could I do that? I left maybe a couple of minutes after you guys did. <laughs> it's all over! Oh, it doesn't matter. My mother still has the final say on it. Protesting is a waste of time. Amamizu Khan will disappear, worn away to nothingness by the ravages of time. With a new hotel here, no one will even remember this place. <laughs> We're just renters anyway. So just giving up then? Okay, girl, get out here. That's enough. Come on out. Tsukimi, can you hear me? yourself. Isn't this where you belong? The only place you've ever felt it's okay to be yourself? This is no time to mope! Is her voice some kind of low? Yeah, pretty mannish. You girls don't have time to sit around bumped out either! Get your stupid butt into that bath right now! That bruise looks really bad. And for the love of fashion, take off those filthy rags! Really? Right now? Oh uh, yes, my umbrella. I... I suppose that's all right. See you then. I'm home! Wait, is my head hot? Close this so tight I can't even move in them. I'll still be good if I keep my bra stuffed and the makeup nice. Why are you being so loud? Oh, hey, bro. You're back. That's great. I'm going to borrow Hanamori in the car. I'm sorry, but I have somewhere I need to go. What? Then let me hit your ride, huh? Drop me off at Amamizu Con. Amamizu. Can I ask you something? Sure, go ahead, as long as we don't waste any time. Are you certain that girl Tsukimi really lives in that building? What? You're asking me now? Only because I didn't see her at the meeting tonight. Wait, that's where you were? At that meeting? 
Yes, I was there. You're consorting with the enemy, aren't you, and helping them tear it down? Well, not definitely at this point, but it's possible. Yes. Hey. Oh, sir, you're too much. You've been such a stranger to me lately. You're always saying we should have lunch sometime, so when are you going to take me out? This weekend sounds good. Sure, that's no problem. I'm a lonely single girl, so I don't have anywhere to go at night. Huh? Where should we eat? Oh, Mr. Kubota, thank you again for taking me out the other day. It was so, so, so delish. I can see why Michelin gave it two stars. I'm willing to bet they'll give you three next year for sure. Honestly, all the restaurants you open are just so... Yeah? You're going to open another new one next year? Tomorrow? No can do, and I wish you quit dragging your feet on this one. Have you managed to convince your wife? What's up? The hotel. You booked a room? Yeah, sure, I'll meet you there if you get her to sign the damn forms. Just get off your rear and sell that passe kimono shop already. Property values in the area are going to plummet next year. Huh? You bought me Chanel. I'll get it next time I see you. For now, close the deal. Stupid old witch. If I didn't know better, Miss Inari, I'd say you sound like a high-class escort. Oh, is that right? Is that what you were telling that bimbo in Section 3 about me? All I said was I was impressed how you worked the bosses at the company party. You idiot! Saying I'm good at a party is the same as saying I close deals between the sheets. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, my bad. Women can be so vindictive towards each other. Shouldn't matter since that's the way you close all your deals. I heard that. <laughs> I like public bathhouses, but our little bath here isn't half bad either. Plus, I get fresh clothes. That's not what you were wearing before. Oh. What was that? What are you talking That definitely sounded like Maya Yaw getting taken down with a one-armed shoulder throw. Zucchini, go take a look. Why does it have to be me? I can't even watch a horror movie without flipping out and stuff. Oh. Nah, what in the world is happening to her in there? Hundred yen says she's dead. Well, is it the grateful cream from that old fairy tale? It's a strange woman I've never seen before. <laughs> Nicole Richie style. So? Uh, Nicole Richie? No idea. Could be the style of pants. Sean Connery's not my type. If we're talking rack railway, it's the shit. She's Lionel Richie's daughter. Paris Hilton's ex BFF? Your homework is to Google her. Listen, you need to understand how drastically clothing can change a person. Now, the last thing I want is for you to be untrue to yourself, or heaven forbid, become stylish for once. But you have to realize you can't fight in those clothes. To do battle, you have to dress for battle. You have to get the people who judge by appearances to stand up and take notice, or you'll never even have a chance. It's really not difficult to do. All of you are capable of the proper motivation. Come on, put on your battle armor. Okay, Mom. Why do you think he goes through so much trouble for us? You don't think he and his brother are just teaming up to play some horrible joke on me, do you? No, I know that's just me being too self-conscious. But for some reason, before he showed up and started doing his thing, my heart felt so heavy and painful. And now it's suddenly lighter. Hey, hey, that hurts! Fine, man, it's all out, bro! I feel it! Before he showed up and started doing his thing, my heart felt so heavy and painful. And now it's suddenly lighter. Somehow, I'm finally starting to feel happy. Nothing is gonna 